Hi, my name is Amedeo Beretta and the channel is Animation Pandemic. In this video, I'm going to give feedback on a cow gate from a student of mine whose specialization is not animation. The student has to animate a cow for an unrelated CG project and they are trying to make a very simple walk cycle. We're not trying to do creature animation, but we're trying to establish the very basics of locomotion. So I will first look at animation, then I will outline what I think could be improved in the general posing of the character, and I will suggest sources the animator could refer to to better understand the workflow for quadruped animation, as well as some workflow tips. While giving feedback to this animation, I actually realized that you can give scores to the way cows walk and diagnose diseases in a cow just by looking at the way they walk, which is really interesting. There are many videos on YouTube showing this thing, in particular I found one from the University of Missouri. You will find the link in the description if you are ever interested. So now let's get started. Hi Pierpaolo, thank you for sending the animation over. The first piece of advice in here is to send out animations without the controls visible in the viewport. And I mean, it doesn't make much difference to me, of course, because I'm used to read animation on a daily basis. But imagine you're sending this thing to a director who doesn't know about animation or to a client who doesn't know about animation. And you might end up receiving notes on the controls or even you might end up having people distracted by the controls and not being able to read your animation because of the controls. So do not have the controls in the viewport when you do play plus for animation because they will be scrutinized. Of course, that changes things if the review is of technical nature. So if you if you need to show us the behavior of a given control, then of course you need to include the control in the viewport. But I don't think this is the case. Having said that, let's go down into the animation thing. The strange thing about this animation is that the front legs seems to be running almost and the hind legs seems to be walking. How do I know that? I know that because there is a moment in any run in which two feet are off the floor and we have that moment on these front legs, but we don't have the same moment really in the hind legs. So it seems like the front of the cow is running and the back of the cow is walking, which is really, really strange to see. So I think you need to decide whether this cow is running or walking. I will assume this is a walk. The first thing you want to keep in mind while animating quadrupeds is how is this walk even working? So there is a very interesting piece by Richard Williams in which he wants to demonstrate that you could have maybe something that looks like an ostrich and something that looked like a man animated independently and when you put them together they end up walking like a horse and it sort of works i think you see that on the animator survival kit you have all the poses you need to animate your quadruped so you really need to stick to those poses and you will get your work working just fine how does this relate to your animation? In the case of your animation, what I find strange is that this seems to be a contact pose because I see the tip of the paw in there is lifted. So I would imagine that the paw was a bit higher. Let me actually draw with a pen there. There you go. Something like this, I would imagine. And then the next pose, I would, I would imagine it to be a flat pose on the floor, not with the tip raised there. So that's the first thing that is a bit strange to me. It's a bit strange that the leg is left behind this one in here. When it moves forward, it goes lower down here and then lifts up and then lands again. So that's the, the loop it does, which is really, really strange. I would need to see some cows walking to understand if that's even possible, but it looks strange to look at it. It looks a bit strange. So I would rather have the leg move it forward, maybe bend in here, something like this. I think that would be the pose you would have as you lift off the floor, right? I would imagine that anyway. I wouldn't lift the leg that much. I would, I would keep it a bit lower there and with the hoof a bit to the back still, and then I would go to the landing point. It's a bit strange that also you're accelerating very quickly between nine and 12 to the front. I think in there, there's something you're doing. I don't know what is it, but I think maybe you're not doing the poses. Maybe you're trying to get it to work in 3D and this rush is preventing you from achieving good motion. So I would do contact pose for both legs in here. So the contact pose on the left leg, I would design that. Then maybe I would design the opposite contact pose. Then I would go in the middle and do maybe the up pose which 
could be something like this one. And then I would see based on the interpolation I get, I would work out the other poses. But there is definitely something to have a look at in, in this pose in here, which I think you're missing. Also, what I find really strange is that as we stretch the right hind leg forward, it seems like your hip, your right hip is moving backward. It feels like as the left leg lunges forward towards the contact, it feels that like the right hip is moving forward. But it is strange because if you imagine a walk where, say, this is the the left leg lunging forward and the green one is the right leg, which is in front, being still behind, I would imagine the left hip to move forward with the leg to help the leg extend and that's certainly the way it normally works so it is strange to see the hip counter operating there i think that's really strange also another thing that you need to imagine is that the legs are going to prevent the hip from falling down to the floor so i would imagine that on this pose which is sort of the up pose i would imagine the the hip of the cow would move a bit higher as the left leg which right now is at the back of the frame is pushing it up so so I think in here you're missing up and downs, you are you are a bit confused about the arcs of the hooves there, so I think you just need to have a look at the poses from Richard Williams and rework this animation based on the poses and think in terms of up and downs. Right now I I find it it's difficult at the beginning to animate a quadruped from scratch and treat it as a quadruped. I find it a lot easier to animate two human beings counter animating there and two different walks and then see, uh, make them work together somehow. I remember the first time I did a quadruped, that's how I did that and it worked decently. Then a more rational approach would be to animate only the body first up and down, see how that works and then animate the feet. That's a layered approach to animation. In here for the front legs, you really need to decide whether this is a run or a walk. I'm assuming this is a walk, in which case you need a contact pose with one leg and the other one is still par at least partially on the floor. Okay, that, that's, and you would need the, these clavicles, these shoulder blades to move backward for the leg who's staying backward and to move forward for the leg who is pushing forward. They behave like a hip there. I would do the head last, at the very last minute. I mean, if you are struggling to control the basic of the walk for the two sets of legs, I would wait. For that's it. So you're, I think you're trying to solve everything together. And I think this, this is making a lot more difficult for you to do. So I think you should treat this as two independent walks for now and figure out the key poses there first and then see how the, the cow behaves. I can guarantee you a hundred percent that if you deal with the up and downs here and here and you deal with the basic pose of a walk as if they were human poses, in both of the cases, then when you watch the cow walking, it will walk. It won't be the super hyper-realistic cow that we see in the Avengers, if there is a cow in the Avengers, but it will be a cow that walks nevertheless. And then you can figure out the head and you will realize that once you do these two parts in here, the head will come on its own. I mean, you, you won't even have to sweat it. It will just naturally come to you. So I hope this helps. Have fun. Bye bye. Not the pleasure, not the pleasure, not the pleasure.